What's up guys? It's Elise and it is day 24 of Vlogmas. And today I'm going to be sharing a full body workout at the gym. So not an at-home workout, but actually like lifting weights and stuff like that. And I'm really excited to share it with you. Addison filmed it for me this morning. I just finished editing and I am getting ready to go over to my friend's house for a Christmas Eve dinner or like early dinner-ish thing. And uh, I'm really excited to share this video with you because I think it'll be really helpful for those of you who have been wanting to start weightlifting but just don't know where to start. None of the moves are very complex and it's going to be voiceover style so I'm explaining how to do everything as the video goes on. So I really hope that this is helpful for you guys. If you like this type of video, definitely give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you would like to see more voiceover type videos so that you can learn how to work out in the gym effectively with proper form and all that good stuff. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video and I hope that you have an awesome Christmas because this will be uploaded on Christmas and tomorrow I will be sharing a video with you about what I ate on Christmas. All right, I will see you tomorrow. I love you, bye. The very first exercise of today's workout is going to be kneeling squats on the Smith machine and we are going to be doing four sets of eight reps. So I'm just setting up the Smith machine right now, putting the weight on each side and I'm going to move the bar to where I need it to be for kneeling height. It would also be helpful if you had something soft to put under your knees for this exercise. I didn't have that today, but if you just got a mat or a towel or something like that, then you're going to get in squat formation and in in the beginning of this uh, set I actually had my knees back a little too far you can see I actually stepped them forward a couple of times to um, to get in better alignment so you're pretty much just gonna squat down until your tushy hits your heels and then you're gonna pop up and flex your butt and tighten your glutes really really tight so since this is a full body workout, you will see that I have organized the exercises in order of body parts that I wish to grow more muscle in first. So glutes is the thing that I am currently focusing on growing the most. And again, remember to really clench the muscles that you are focusing on for each exercise. This will help in activating them and growing them. So the next exercise is going to be quad focused and it is the leg press. We are also going to be doing four sets of eight reps of this exercise. So right here, I'm just bringing down the leg press to a height that reaches my legs because it's always way too high up for me. Now I'm thinking about a weight to grab. Make sure that the weight is challenging but also something you that you can do which allows you to complete the full amount of eight reps so then I'm going to get back into the leg press machine and start doing my reps so you want to make sure that you are comfortable in this machine before you release the leg press plate um, to start doing your reps. You want to make sure you're comfortable. And then I always bring my knees all the way down to my chest and push up for a full extension. You don't want to lock your legs, but you do want to extend them. Another thing to remember is just focus on what you're doing at this point in time. Don't think about anything else. Focus in on your workout. The next exercise is going to be kind of like a two-part motion. So you're going to be doing an upright row, directly into an overhead press and you should be using a fairly light barbell for this um, unfortunately the gym that i'm going to only has the easy bar which is the kind of wavy bar it would be much easier to do with a straight bar so if you do have those at your gym i would definitely opt for that you would probably want to be using somewhere between 10 and 30 pounds if you are a beginner to this also remember to tighten your core during this and you'll be doing four sets of eight reps the next body part that we will be focusing on is the back and you can tell I have to climb up the machine in order to get this cable um, downward and I'm going to take off whatever attachment is on there that I'm not using 
and I just wanted to bring Addison over so you guys can see that it's totally okay to like be fumbling around with the machines. You won't look like a fool. You won't look like a weirdo. So don't be afraid to take some time to set up the machine for yourself. Here I am attaching the little part that I need. I am stepping back so that the cable has some stretch going on and I'm going to get into a squat formation. You could even have your back a little bit more straight than mine is here. I'm kind of leaning forward a bit. So the main part of this um, seated row or squatted row is that you want to be driving your elbow all the way back behind you and have your arms pretty tight to your core as well. Don't let them like flail out or anything. You can see mine are very tight to my core and I'm just drawing my elbows back extremely tight. That is going to activate your back which is exactly what you want and you're going to be doing three sets of 10 reps of this exercise. Next up is going to be working out your chest and I like to put my feet up on the bench because my legs are pretty short. You probably don't have to do this if you're over five feet. So this exercise is called the dumbbell fly and you can see I'm just spreading my arms out to the sides. They do not have to remain completely straight. You can have a little bit of elbow bend once you're at the bottom part of the motion, but really try and focus on going slow and just squeezing your chest. You should be activating it and feeling the stretch when you go down to this part of the motion right here and then squeezing on the way back up. Definitely try to tighten your core while doing this as well. And I like to try and focus on one specific spot on the ceiling in order to stay focused. All right, next up, we are going to be working our arms. We're just doing basic bicep curls here. And I kind of look like a deer in headlights because normally when I am standing up doing an exercise, I'm looking in the mirror. But since Addison is filming me, I'm not looking in the mirror and I just kind of look like a deer in headlights. Anyway, make sure that you are really focusing on tightening your biceps for this motion. You want to be using a light enough weight that you can actually feel your bicep clenching. You shouldn't be rocking your body back and forth so if you are doing that be sure to move down a little bit in weight another thing that I also like to focus on is really planting my feet on the ground and tightening my stomach for these arm exercises we are going to be doing three sets of 10 reps right here I'm doing a seated dumbbell tricep extension and I am only moving my elbow to my wrist I'm not moving any part of my upper arm like elbow to shoulder that should be staying completely straight with your body remember to tighten your core and extend your arms all the way down as far as you can and upward. Okay, so we are on to the second to last exercise of today's workout. We are going to do wall assisted crunches. I recently found out about these and I'm in love with them. So you're pretty much just going to get your butt up against the wall, put your legs straight up and crunch, crunch, crunch. Um, one thing that I try to focus on when doing these crunches is not to pull my head or my neck upward. So at one point I just show you my hands to show that I can still do the crunches without my my hands. Um, so I'm just putting them by my ears or by my head just as a comfortable place to hold them, but I'm not pulling my neck. I'm really um, crunching upward with my abs. You can see them working here. The next exercise is also an ab exercise, and we're going to be doing two sets of 15 reps for both ab exercises. I have a little light dumbbell in between my feet, and I am perched up on a bench, and I'm kind of doing like a V-up style crunch holding on to the sides of the bench and really trying to extend out as long as I can and crunch up as tight as I can. All right, guys, that's going to conclude today's workout. If you like it, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you decide to try it out for yourself, be sure to let me know by using the hashtag raw alignment workout on social media. Speaking of social media, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Tumblr if you are not already. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for the last day of Vlogmas. I love you so much.